Hello. In this video, we are going to derive an expression for the relaxation time for a reaction of the form 2A goes to Z, where K1 is the second order rate constant in the forward direction, and K2 is the first order rate constant in the reverse direction. D is going to be the difference between the concentration of Z at a particular time and Z sub B, which is the equilibrium concentration of Z. We use as an expression for the current concentration A, it's equal to this constant A sub zero minus two times the concentration of Z. As a way of uh, thinking about the significance of this constant A zero, it would be the concentration of A if we were in a position where we were entirely to the left of our reaction, we had only A, but no Z. For dz dt, we have in the forward direction k1 times the concentration of a, which is a sub 0, minus 2 times the concentration of z squared, minus k2 times the concentration of z. And then if we uh, expand out the quantity uh, in the parentheses, we get k1 a sub 0 squared minus 4k1 a sub 0 times z plus 4k1 concentration of z squared minus k2 times the concentration of z. To find dd dt, we already know that we divide big D to be uh, the concentration of Z minus its equilibrium concentration. So therefore, we just apply the properties of derivatives to give uh, dz dt minus dz equilibrium dt. And since Z sub E is a constant, that particular derivative drops out. So we get that the dd dt is equal to dz dt. At equilibrium, we know that the rates of the forward reaction and the reverse reaction are going to be equal to each other. And we know that the relevant concentration for Z is going to be its equilibrium concentration, thereby giving the expression shown. Here, we're starting with our previous expression for dd dt, we use the fact that if we subtract zero from a quantity, the quantity stays the same. So that is the significance of the second line shown here. That is an expression which is equal to zero, which therefore does not change the uh, value of dd dt. Simplifying, we get the expression for dd dt as shown. Importantly, uh, writing it in terms of this expression, z minus the equilibrium concentration of z, where possible.
in this step. We make use of the fact that we can factor the difference of two squares, a squared minus b squared, as a plus b, a minus b. And we're making use of the fact that if the uh, difference from equilibrium is small, then the concentration of z is pretty close to the equilibrium concentration. So we can replace z plus z equilibrium by two times the equilibrium concentration of z. Here, we make use of the fact that the equilibrium concentration of the quantity A is equal to A sub zero minus two times the equilibrium concentration of Z. Here we apply the uh, initial condition that the value of the difference z um, at time t equals zero is equal to d sub zero. And we make use of the fact that we can separate variables uh, d and t to get the solution for our uh, differential equation. So we derive this expression for the natural log of d sub zero divided by d. And then we note that tau, the relaxation time, is the time uh, required for d to go one over e of the way from d sub zero to zero. Here we note that for tau uh, is when d sub zero divided by d is equal to e. So therefore, the natural log of d sub zero divided by d is equal to one. So we uh, assign that to the left-hand side of our expression. And we get that one is equal to uh, four k1 times the, the equilibrium concentration of a plus k2. And then rearranging, we get our expression for the relaxation time tau, one over for K1 times the equilibrium concentration of A plus K2. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Stay healthy, stay safe, and as always, have a good one.